who believes in predictions? Like if I predicted the lottery number. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't have nice. to do this, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm going to make a prediction. I'm going to have both of you call out numbers, say, from 1 to 52. But so you don't call out the same numbers, would you like to call out an odd number? Not right now. So you have the odd number choice, and you have an even number. Do you know what even numbers are? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to write down a card, and I'm going to pick, I'll make it simple, Ace of Spades. So I'll just put A dash S for Ace of Spades. Uh, I'm going to have you concentrate. Think of an odd number. And on your end, think of a low number, say between, I don't know, 1 and 25. And think of one. You have it? Yeah. But change your mind now. Don't go with that one. Pick a, a different low odd number, which yeah. is, you may tell us what it is. Nine. Nine. Okay. And I like this trick because I use my business cards, and that way I they keep my business card. Now you're going to pick the even number. I'm going to write down another card. Um, eight of hearts. Eight and an H for hearts. And would you call out kind of a high even number between, I don't know, 28 and 52? My age, 38. Not that one. No, it doesn't matter. You want to, you want to stick with 38? <laughs> yeah. 38, you can please. change your mind or keep the mind you have. 38? All right. Now, I'm going to kind of reverse this. I'm going to write down a number. You can incorporate a third person with this, but we'll incorporate you again. I'm going to write down a number. I'm going to uh, 37. That's a good one. I'm going to write down 37. You get to call out any card in a deck of cards. Anyone whatsoever. Uh, Queen of uh, Hearts. Queen of Hearts. That's a great one. Q H. Queen of Hearts, and you may hold on to that also. And so your first number was nine. You know, years ago when I was a kid, I tried to do card tricks. I actually tried to make my own marked deck by writing the value of the card on the back of the card, but it was too obvious. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just didn't work. But I still have the deck I had when I was a kid. There it is. And So nine, I'm going to go through and... Oh, there's nine right there. I'm going to set that down. And your number was? 38. 38. Let's go through and take out number 38 right here. And we'll get to it eventually. <laughs> there's uh, 38. Oh, oh, there it is, 38. You know what? I should have you hold on to the cards. Will you mm -hmm. hold it on right there? You could hold on to your nine. And I said 37. You call out the queen of hearts. Let's go through and take, oh, the, what coincidence, the Queen of Hearts is right on the bottom, and they're all different, of course. The Queen of Hearts, I said 37. Would it be amazed? You call out the card that I had the number corresponded to. You said nine, when I said Ace of Hearts, would you turn that card around? Is it the Ace of Spades? And then... I said eight of hearts, you freely call out 38. Would you look at that card? It's the eight of hearts. <laughs> this is fantastic card effect. You can present it, of course, like I did, as a mental effect. You can get eight or ten minutes out of this by calling three people up, have some fun with them, and you're turning a card trick into a stage effect. You can do it anywhere. Comes with a deck of cards, comes with a DVD, and all you have to do is get one and learn it. You'll learn it really quickly, and you're going to be the star of the next show you do, just like I did here. Is this fantastic? Yeah. And you absolutely. all have three choices. You heard it. So get one. It's called Trilogy.